Hey there, as far we have seen so many commands, but, have you ever thought that your bot can even make decisions on some conditions? Your bot also could have a brain like a human. So yes, it's possible. We can make our bots to make decisions based on the given condition. Let's say, if a person's age is less than 18, then he or she should be set as not eligible for voting, and a person having age 18 or more than 18, we could say to them, yes, he or she is eligible for voting. So, how could you do that to your bot to make such types of decisions? Any guessings? Okay. Let me tell you. We have if package which works as similar to its meaning. We can use the if package to tell your bot that, if a person's age is less than 18, then not eligible for voting, else he or she is eligible. Sounds cool, right? So let us explore it deeply. We use the commands or actions in the if package to control the sequence of execution based on one or more conditions of a task. Even we can use the actions in the if package to check if an application is running, a folder or file exists, a variable matches the specified value, an application window exists, or a machine or server is running, before executing a set of actions. Before moving further, let's first discuss what would be conditions in the if action to control the flow of execution in an automation task. Application. We can execute actions based on whether an application is running or not running. Boolean. We can execute actions based on whether a Boolean variable contains the value, true or false. Dictionary. We can use this condition to execute actions based on whether the value of the specified key is equal to or not equal to, or contains or does not contain the target value. Folder. We can execute an action based on whether a folder exists or not exist. Number. We can execute actions based on whether the specified number variable is equal to or not equal to, or is greater than or equal to, or is lesser than or equal to a particular value. String. We can execute actions based on whether the specified source string value is equal to or not equal to, or includes or does not include the target value. And there are many more conditions you can use to manipulate the sequence of execution, such as data table, date and time, file, image recognition JavaScript, list, ping, which is used to verify if a machine or server is running or not, recorder, task bot, script, and window. Actions in the if package. The if package includes three actions. If, else if, and else. If action. It specifies a condition and holds a sequence of actions to run if the condition is true. You can configure multiple conditions within a single if action. Else if action. It specifies an alternative condition to test if the condition specified in the if action is false. If this alternative condition is true, the bot runs the sequence of actions contained within the else if action. Else action. It specifies the alternative sequence of actions if the condition specified in the if action and else if action, if used, is false. Now let's understand the if package with a simple example. In this example, you will build a bot that prints a message absent if there are no marks, pass, or fails based on the marks obtained by students stored in a CSV file. We will use the actions from the CSV slash TXT, if loop, and message box packages. So let's do that. Log into the control room using your user credentials. Click on create a bot button. Name the bot, let's say demo underscore if else. Then click on the create and edit button, which will redirect to the bot editor page where we can edit our bot. Before we start let's have a look at the CSV data which contains the marks of students. This file contains five records, and each record has two columns that are name of the student and their respective marks. Okay, so let's jump into the bot editor page and start building the bot. So first of all, open the CSV file, so to do that just type a few letters of the CSV slash TXT package in the action palette, and then drag and drop the open action into the bot editor. Specify the session name and the location of the CSV file from any of the available options. I will go with the desktop file option. Now use the browse button to browse for the CSV file from the local device. Select the Contains Header checkbox as the CSV file contains a header row. Select any of the available options to specify the delimiter used in the file. 
we will go with comma as it is the default delimiter for CSV files. Select the Trim Leading Spaces and Trim Trailing Spaces checkboxes to trim additional leading and trailing spaces from the data. Select an option from the encoding list to specify the encoding that is applied to the file. We will go with UTF-8. It can encode all possible characters. Since we need to iterate for each record in the CSV file, so, we will use a loop command to iterate the process for each record in the CSV file. Drag and drop loop command from the action palette into the bot editor, and edit it from the detailed panel. Select the for each row in the CSV slash TXT option from the iterator list. Enter the name of the session that you have used to open the CSV or text file in the open action. Select a record variable from the assign the current row to this variable list, or, create a new one. The record variable holds all of the values for one row. With each iteration of the loop, the bot retrieves the values of the next row and stores them in the record variable, overwriting the values from the previous row. Now, from here we will insert a decision-making brain in our bot that will be inside the loop so that it can make decisions for each record in CSV file. Now, double-click or drag the if action from the if package in the actions palette. Select the required condition from the condition list. We will go with the string condition to check for absent. Insert the record variable which holds the marks of the student in the source value field. Select equal to operator and specify the target values as absent. Click on add condition. We can add multiple conditions in a single command using AND or OPTION as per our requirement. We can leave it for now, as we don't need multiple conditions. Now drag and drop the message box to display the result, if the condition is satisfied within the IF condition. Now, to check for pass condition, drag and drop the ELSE IF action from Action Palette beside the IF action. Choose the number condition to specify the passing marks as 33. Add a message box to display the result if the condition is satisfied within the else if condition. Now, let's add else action from the if the package to display a message fail if no condition matched from if and else if action. Finally, add close action from the CSV slash TXT package to close the CSV file after all tasks complete. Enter the session name that was used to open the file with the open action. Now, save the changes. Click on Run to run the bot. Wow! It worked! Amazing! So now you are good to go with the if package to build a decision-making bot. Congratulations!